Good morning, everyone. My name is Atiyah Jaha Rashidi, and I am the Chief Equity Officer and Vice President of Community Relations at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Children's Hospital of New Jersey. And it's my pleasure to welcome you this morning to our new soccer field. This is an amazing project, the first of its kind in the city of Newark and at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and RWJ Barnabas Health. We are proud to work with our partners at the PDA, Urban Initiative, and the City of Newark to make this space a reality. It is also equally important to have support, the support of our community. So we thank all the stakeholders who are here today to join us at this press conference. It's great to be here back together again with the City of Newark. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the President and Chief Executive Officer of Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Children's Hospital of New Jersey, Mr. Darrell K. Terry, Sr. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And thank you, whoever put this program together, for allowing me to go before the mayor. This is a beautiful day out today, and we are very excited about what this means and why we're here. This is the official start of summer, and we're really excited to be able to participate in Newark and our community in a meaningful way. As many of you may know, we are in the midst of a $150 million project called Newark Strong at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Children's Hospital of New Jersey. However, our commitment doesn't end there. Our commitment is with our community, with our neighbors, with the kids of Newark, and we are thrilled today to be able to name this soccer field Newark Beth Israel Medical Center Community Field. We are super excited about our participation in this. We could not have done this without several of our partners, uh, mostly PDA, Urban Initiative, as well as our, our partners in Livingston, uh, RWJ Barnabas Health. Uh, certainly this never happens without the vision of the mayor and the South Ward leadership. We are extremely excited to participate in a small way in bringing some fun and normalcy back to Newark after such a really challenging time during the last 18 months or so. So I'm not going to, it's too hot out here for me to go on and on, but I do want to recognize our board members. Today we have here uh, Mark Burson, who is the chairman of our corporate board. He was. He was the chairman of Newark Beth Israel for over 17 years before he uh, went up to uh, lead our corporate board. And then Frank John Tomasi, the current chairman of Newark Beth Israel Medical Center, and the vice chairman, Vaughn Crow. So without further ado, I think it's my role to turn it over to uh, Jerry McGowan, McKeon, I'm sorry. Uh, for remarks. Uh, what we have here at Newark Beth Israel is just, it's not just a field today, it's programming that comes with this. It's nutrition, it's exercise, it's really teaching the kids and being a part of and not just a field. It's just a plot of land without all of the programming that we intend to do with and for our community. So without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Jerry. Thank you very much, and uh, thank all of our partners, and thank you, Mayor. Uh, you scored the first goal at the field. That's usually my job. I'm a little disappointed, but uh, with that footwear, we're, we're very proud of what you're able to accomplish. So um, our project, Urban Initiative, is a part of PDA and uh, a very important part. We had some time during the pandemic to reflect on what we do as a club, and we certainly serve uh, our players well. We are one of the top clubs in the country in terms of youth soccer. But when we have time to reflect, we think, is that enough? And unfortunately, soccer has become a very uh, socioeconomic difficult place to get in. Um, it's a very upper middle, middle class game. Uh, most of the clubs are tuition based. So during the pandemic, we thought, how can we do more? How can we do better? And what type of project would make us a stronger, better, more inclusive club? And we came up with uh, these mini fields throughout as many uh, underserved soccer communities as we can. So our hope is that 
These fields provide an oasis for children to fall in love with the game. And from falling in love with the game, there may be some huge benefits. The obvious ones would be uh, it would reduce the obesity rates. It will increase the mental health and well-being of the players. It will uh, provide um, a distraction from some of the negative things that go on in, the, in our communities. So we feel that it's all good. Um, and some of this will happen organically in terms of the kids showing up, walking to the field, playing, getting it together. The other part is programming, and we will work with RWJ Barnabas to provide education. We will provide coaching, and uh, RWJ will provide healthcare initiatives and, and just guide these children um, as best we can and give them role models and give them opportunities and that's what we feel every field that we build in New Jersey is an opportunity we may impact one we may impact hundreds but what whatever the number is uh, this is money well spent and we're so proud of this initiative and how it's taking off um, we are uh, currently this is our fourth um, we're expanding to ten in New Jersey and then we would like to go nationwide because we think we can make a difference. We think we can make a difference in the communities. We think we can make a difference in U.S. soccer and change the socioeconomic uh, climate and, and give opportunities for other players and players who may not have an entrance into our game. It's a beautiful game. We're the only country in the world where uh, it's a game for the wealthy. In every other country, it's a game for the poor. And that's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to bring as many uh, talented players to the game as we can. So we thank everyone who has allowed it to happen from the city council, from the mayor, from uh, New York Beth Israel, from RWJ Barnabas Health. And these really, these folk are instrumental in allowing us to do our, you know, our, what we call our mission and change us as a club and change the game as a whole. So thank everyone for all of your help and support. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And now at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our partner. This could not have happened without the tireless conversations between Patrick, Director of Recreations and Cultural Affairs. Um, Pat Council, I just have to say this. this is absolutely wonderful that we got together on this. Justin, thank you so very much. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the Director of Cultural Affairs, Recreation, and Senior Services for the City of Newark is Pat Council. Uh, good morning, everyone. I want to uh, thank the RWJB Barnabas uh, family, as well as uh, Newark Beth Israel, uh, Daryl Terry, President and CEO, uh, Jerry, uh, from Players Development Academy and all of you who've come out today uh, on uh, our first day of summer which the mayor has coined it back together again uh, at this robust sports complex here uh, at Bo Porter uh, Athletic Complex where we have our summer uh, enrichment camp that is going on, our cheer camp and as soon as you guys get off this field we'll have some young people on here playing soccer and so we are so excited about this partnership uh, as the mayor simply put it it's about strong recreational programming, holistic uh, recreation and partnerships and collaboration uh, and we have been in the forefront uh, at doing that since his administration we are thankful and grateful for all uh, who have come out to celebrate this great day uh, to give our young people opportunities uh, at lifelong living sports uh, and make sure that this is a part of their well-being and their nature uh, as they continue to go on and tackle uh, these endeavors uh, in their life again want to thank uh, Atia uh, as well as Justin for being great partners uh, and for continuing their conversation and working together uh, to assure uh, the deadlines uh, were met and everything was in place. Uh, and as we look around, uh, we see the we will see and continue to see the excitement uh, of the young people in this community uh, and in this greater branch uh, that they will begin to bring out. So, again, uh, none of this really could happen uh, without the fore forethought and leadership uh, probably one of the most uh, greatest mayors here in the state of New Jersey, who I would like to call up, uh, our Mayor Honorable Raz J. Baraka. Thank you. Pal, you said that, but you know you got Mayor Melham over here from Belleville who didn't really like that comment. He started, he started trying to leave, you see him? 
I asked him how his GPS get him all the way over here. I thought he was, <laughs> thought he was lost. But he, he is going to do this in Belleville as well, so it's a great thing. Uh, obviously, we want to thank uh, RWJ Barnabas, Daryl Terry, uh, Newark Beth Israel Medical Center, uh, PDA Urban Initiative for thinking about Newark and considering Newark as a place to get this done. Today, you know, uh, you saw all these kids pile up in here. I put them out uh, because they didn't come here for a press event. They came here because it's the first day of summer and the pools are open. <laughs> and uh, if we would have told them it was a press event, they would have probably stayed home. Uh, they want to go get in the pool and play basketball and do all the things they're doing. So I said, let them go do that. If I was 10, 11 years old, I'd be angry at my mother for bringing me to a press event. So that, that, I'm saying that to say we have been out for 15, 16, 17 months. Our kids have not been in the pool. They've not been on basketball courts. They've not been on soccer fields. They've not been in recreation centers, cheer camp, any of that. This is an opportunity for us to get back together again. And I want them to enjoy every second, every minute of it. That's why I'm incredibly grateful to all of the partners that helped make this thing happen today. Because it's another opportunity for our young people to get involved in a sport that they don't really have a lot of access to, to play soccer. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the opportunity for them to excel in soccer is limitless, right? The things that they can do, uh, you know, they don't need a whole bunch of, you know, all kinds of equipment. They get out here and kick the ball and figure out how to get that done, uh, minus the, the fees that it costs to be in these programs. But, but other than that, I think this is a great opportunity for young people. And Beth Israel teaching them about health and wellness uh, at the same time, particularly since they've been in the house uh, for a very, very long time. Now uh, is the time that we all come back together again. And lastly, I've, I've told the directors, uh, and, and, I, and I thank uh, Director Council uh, for heeding that, that as, as many times as we can get with people outside of the city uh, during this time to get back together, let's do that. Let's partner with as many people as we can to make sure everybody is involved, using the moniker back together again so that our kids and our families can know that we're all together we're all a part of this. We're all going to win, and we're all going to have a great time this summer. So thank you, uh, PDA, uh, Beth Israel, RWJ Barnabas, uh, the board, everybody that's here to make this happen, Newark Recreation, Cultural Affairs, uh, you know, Councilman James, uh, all of us for coming together and making this a reality. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, before we officially kick this off, I do want to acknowledge my colleague, Mary Ellen Klein, the president and CEO of uh, Clara Moss Medical Center. So now it's that time. Uh, we are going to officially kick off Newark Beth Israel Medical Center Community Field, and it's on. So have a great summer, everyone. Let's go, go, go.